I'm pretty sure that you are looking for a battery and you are very curious to see how this battery from Orion Power look inside. So in this video we're going to remove the case, we're going to remove the protection and I'm going to try to explain you what you will find in this battery from Orion Power that has a chemistry, lithium, iron, phosphate and work on 48 volts, so on low voltage inverters. So let's get started. Welcome back to CS Tech, I'm Claudio and I'm going to start with a disclaimer. First of all, if you decide to buy this battery, don't try to open at home, you will lose the warranty and of course will be very dangerous to remove everything from here because even that it's on 48 volts, the battery has some cell inside and each cell is very powerful, has around 100 amps and if you short, can burn. So please be very careful when you open this battery at home. Now, if you still want to remove the battery uh, case and cover and you want to see what's inside, please keep in mind on the edges over here you have a lot of screws. They are very tiny and of course you can use a screwdriver in order to remove it. We already removed it for this video because we want to keep you here not so much. Now, when you try to remove it, try to remove it from the top. The front cover is very heavy, it's made from iron and of course lift it on the front and over here you have two connectors that must be unplugged. Once you remove the, the connector, as you can see over here, you have two PCB. The bigger one is for LCD and for buttons, and the second one is for LEDs. So you have here two connectors that must be removed. Regarding the, the front cover, the front cover is made by iron, it's very, very thick, and of course, it's very stable. You try to bend it, but it's very, very nice. Now, if you open the battery, you will notice inside you will see the cables and the connector and everything. But if you want to access the cell, you still have to remove another protection that is also made by uh, from iron. So I recommend you to remove it also from the top. Of course, this one is also connected with screw. We already removed it. But once you remove it, you will see and you will notice over here you have a diagram that will show how the cell are connected over here, how the balance point are connected. So if you miss something when you remove it, you can come back to this diagram and check. Now, I'm going to try to turn this battery this way because it's very, very heavy. And I'm going to try to explain you what you will find inside. First of all, let's talk about chemistry. The chemistry inside is lithium iron phosphate. Basically, it's a chemistry that is specially made for solar system, for storage solution because it has a low density on each cell. Basically, this cell is bigger, it's heavier and can storage a small amount of energy and this make it more safer. For example, if you see lithium ion battery, they can explode. This one will never explode if you overcharge them and of course will never explode if you keep it at warm temperature. Don't imagine 100 degrees temperature, imagine 35, 45 will be safer and will work without any problem. The cells, the cell inside over here are lithium iron phosphate, they are uh, individual. As you can see over here we have 8 on the top, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They are connected together, uh, basically we have the positive, negative, positive, negative. They are daisy chained together. Here it, they are also connected with another 8 on the bottom. Basically we have 16 cells, so it's a 16S battery pack. It's uh, very uh, good and of course can work with many brands of inverter. I recommend you to go into the description below, I put a list with compatible inverters. In our test, we connected with Victron Energy and we'll try to connect with there. But with Victron, we work pretty well, communicate via CAN bus, and of course, in Victron, will show us a pylon tech battery. So the Victron will know how to charge, how to discharge, but you can see all these details in the next video when I already make the review. Now, let's go back to cells. Like I told you earlier, the cells are connected together in series in order to achieve 48 volts. Basically, they achieve 67, 60, uh, 56.7 volts. They are maximum charged to 100%. And over here, you have some uh, connection points. These small connections in this small wire are connected in the middle of each cell and they are going to BMS. This battery has already a BMS built in. The BMS is separately and it also has a balancer. Let me explain you a very, very quick difference between them. The BMS basically is a computer that measures the exact amount of the energy for each cell. If one of the cells is different from uh, another, the battery will try to charge or discharge, depends on the battery state. And in this way, we'll try to maintain the entire battery at the same level. Imagine you have the car and the pressure in the wells 
are is the same. Basically, the car will work pretty well. When your one wheel is lower than other, the bat the car will work, but will not work pretty well. There is the same situation here with the battery. They must be at the same level when you charge it because you want to have the same voltage since they are to, uh, connected together in series. Over here you have the connection point, you have a positive and of course you have negative. The positive is going uh, through these two wires, they are 7 AWG cable. They are going to this uh, mechanical fuse, over here it's a mechanical fuse, this act as a fuse and of course act as a switch. This one has 125 amps, but keep in mind the battery can offer you only 100 amps because each cell it's 100 amps. Basically this entire battery can offer you 56 52.6 volts at uh, 56 56 volts yes at 100 amps around 5.2 kilowatts hour of energy 5.12 kilowatts hour of energy so basically the positive is going through fuse and of course after it is uh, going through fuse is going to this connection point where you can connect the inverter please keep in mind this is connected in parallel so it's better to put two wires if you want to connect to an inverter also the po the negative the negative don't go directly to this connection point is going to bms because as i explained you earlier the battery has a bms and has a balancer the bms basically measures the amount of energy and in this case can act as a switch because it has a digital uh, switch inside if i try to explain you more simple uh, as possible act as a switch and when something happening with the battery the this digital switch will cut off the power for example if the battery is not on the same level and one of the battery is unbalanced and the entire battery pack in order to protect itself will cut the power for example if you try to drain uh, too much energy from this battery for example you're trying to you try to drain six kilowatts several kilowatts or 200 amps at once the battery will measure the amount of energy because this uh, negative it's also going through a shunt and the battery will measure the amount of energy that is going outside and when it's too much will cut off the entire load in order to protect the entire system basically this one acts as a switch and of course it's a safety switch with when something is bad in the battery will show now let's talk about uh, cases and about the build quality if i uh, try to explain you how this battery is made please keep in mind it's very heavy first of all it has around 50 kilo because the chemistry is very heavy but also the case is very heavy because it's made entire by iron i don't notice uh, nothing from uh, from plastic over here everything is iron everything is very very built quality as you see the front cover it's iron the protection cover of the battery it's still iron so the battery is very very heavy and the build quality looks pretty pretty well i don't notice something here that looks strange to me i don't notice something connected just to be connected oh here camera uh, so this battery uh, looks pretty well if you ask me if i recommend this to my customer i will do it because it's a cheap battery and of course, uh, we made some tests with Victron Energy in real life. Basically, you connect this battery with a multiplus from in Victron. I also connect a Victron shunt because we want to measure the exact amount of energy that this uh, already built-in shunt declares. us. So after our test, this battery delivered the exact amount of energy that was written into the specification. And it was a very, very nice test. We were surprised to see how this battery performed in real life because our test was through a inverter wing. We, want, uh, we don't connect uh, over here and measure the amount of energy mega capacity test. We made basically a capacity test through an inverter and of course with a real life load. We have a heat a higher gun that drain around 2.1 kilo, kilowatts hour of energy. And the battery uh, lasts for two hours, almost two hours. But the entire energy that was draining from the battery was the same but the same level that was right in the in the user manual sorry for my english i'm not a native english speaker i will try my best to explain you all this technical stuff in english we have a youtube channel in romania and if you don't understand romanian you will see this english video because we have a lot of requests from a uh, user from worldwide so this is the battery from orion power this uh, is how the battery look inside as a recap it's a very built quality battery the capacity was uh, okay, we tested it in real life, so I will recommend this battery to my customer. If you decide to buy one of these, we have a, a description, into the description area below we have a link to, to seller, they will ship worldwide, so basically just go there and buy this battery with trust because it's a pretty nice battery in order to work with your inverters.
Please keep in mind uh, this battery works on low voltages, so if you have a Huawei or Fronis inverter that work on high voltages, this battery uh, will, uh, won't work. So you will try to, to check if the, your inverter is already put in your uh, test list. Uh, on the seller website you will see a list with the inverter that was already tested with this battery and of course all this, a list with the inverter that are compatible but was never tested. We tested with Victron Energy, worked pretty well, we communicate with this battery via CAN bus and of course the inverter, we know how much to charge this battery, how much to discharge and of course because this battery has already built in six temperature sensor inside, the temperature from the cell and from the battery it's already broadcasted to Victron and Victron will know when to uh, turn off or turn on the charging and of course uh, we'll know how to protect this battery for overcharging. So. If I try to repeat this battery, it's a pretty nice device that you can install in your home. Please keep in mind you can install 15 of these in parallel in order to achieve a much higher capacity, storage capacity. Uh, each battery can communicate with, with another one via network cable, but I will gonna I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain you all this technical stuff in our review. So wait you here on the channel. Now, if you are not subscribed to our uh, channel, I recommend you to hit the bell, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.